What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Sean Robert Johnson. As you know, I'm incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trent, New Jersey. I appreciate y'all tuning in to today's episode that we got for y'all. So let's just get straight to it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me, your host. As you know, I'm currently incarcerated at New Jersey State Prison in Trent, New Jersey, and I have been for over the last 17 and a half years. And don't forget to become a subscriber for free on both our YouTube channels, at Prison Audio and at Sean Robert Johnson, as well as follow us on Instagram, at Prison Audio and at Shaw John 1222. That's S-H-A-W-J-O-H-N-1222. And don't forget to visit the website, Prison audio.com so today i got my co-host my bro mike with me on another episode that we do on an interview and today we got taz the sister one of my guys that's down here in prison so i appreciate you for coming on doing an interview today Nah, i appreciate you for having me bro real shit man yeah so yeah so me and your brother was shopping it up as he literally may be about 10 sales down from me so, oh, okay, okay. so I want to get into that first. Yeah, yeah, he really is. So I want to get into that first. So like, how has it been for you and like your family just having your brother locked up? Man, I'm saying it's been it's been uh, like hard. You already know that shit. That shit definitely be difficult. Like you feel what I'm saying? Then you know what happened when we was young. So it's like you feel me. We really it's like watching your brother grow up over the phone type shit. You feel me? Like we just been bothering the building over the phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because my little brother been down there, like, at a young age. So, you feel me? It's like a lot of shit we ain't even really get to do. You know what I'm saying? Because we was just young and just, live, and just living fast type shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely know how it is. Like I said, I've I known him for some time since he's been down here. Definitely solid yeah. dude, from my opinion, from just being around him for, for, for a long time. So, no, absolutely. Like I said, y'all missed on a on a lot of stuff being that he'd been in here. So like, what are some of the things that you that I reflect on that y'all could have been doing? Like that's your brother right there. If he was on the street yeah. right there, man, I'm saying we'll just be out here having a good time. Like, you know, we still, we still young and shit like that. So we'll be working absolutely take care of the family and stuff like that. But just the things that you get to do with your family, you feel me? Your brothers, your cousins, your friends, that we wasn't really old enough to do when we was younger. Even if his son and shit was like going out, you feel me, going on vacations, like we out here going on vacations, doing this, doing that, feel me? I'm rapping, I got a lot going on, feel me? Just him being at the show, supporting me, like, you know what I'm saying? So them type of things is like the things that we miss out on. Just the memories, just creating memories, you feel me? No, I, I definitely agree. So we was having a conversation and he told me that you also had your own journey of being locked up before. Nah, yeah, for sure. I, but I had my, I, like, when I was young, I got, I was getting locked up since I was 18, but all my charges in municipal, so I was really getting fines, drug programs, you feel what I'm saying? Because they was catching me with weed. But then I started, I got caught with, uh, you know, just uh, trapping, you know, uh, with bundles and stuff. Yeah. And I actually popped out to a three flat, and that was my first time, uh, my, I was your first time felon. So I ended up getting ISP, you feel me? So I, I did like seven months and ended up coming home on ISP. And then I was on it during COVID. So it was actually easy. I didn't have to go to the buildings. Like after a while, I didn't have to go to probation. Like, you feel me? Mad shit stopped due to COVID. Yeah. So I maxed out on the program. Like I ain't have to go to court or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like while I was right, down there, I was, just, I was just telling myself, like, you feel me? Like, to just try to get my shit together, like. So, I mean, my family talking to me, my grandmother and shit. So, I'm just happy that I was, you feel me, fortunate enough to get it together for myself. Yeah, so when you went down, you never actually went to Clint? Yeah, I went down. I was down there for like four months. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so yeah that's, I was down there like for like four pass, months. Uh, yeah, 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 like a little, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Nah, what? Well, so, even, even though you was down there, so like, what was that experience like for you? Like being down there, cause like I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, like as long as we've been doing mm -hmm. this podcast, I think you like the first female from Jersey that actually yeah. been down Clinton no. that we had a chance to interview. So like, what is what, what was that experience like? Well, I'm saying like my big cousin was down there, cause my older cousin, her name Keisha, shout out my big cousin, you feel me? She had did an 18 piece. So when I went down there, she made that shit a lot easier for me. Like you know what I'm saying, she definitely had a care package ready for me. You know what I'm saying, like and then since my time was so low. I was at like I was in like ground, so my job was highway detail. You feel what I'm saying? Like I was like it like the spot I was in. It wasn't 
it was hard, you know what I'm saying? Being away from my family and shit like that. But it was like my cousin definitely made it easier for me. Like I can honestly say that, like, you know what I'm saying? She was definitely looking me out down there. Yeah, I think like in general, when you gelling, no matter male or female, if you got like family or loved ones, unfortunately in the prison that you at, it definitely make it a make lot it easier. easier. Right? Nah, it facts, does. right? Exactly. Nah, for sure. So I so, think I was uh yeah, that was that's what had it for me. But and it like and the I just really went to work and then came home. You feel me? The 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 uh chicks was cool and then like you know what I'm saying, it wasn't really too much going on, like it wasn't no females in there really doing too much. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all right, now that now that you home, like what was the well I wanna say like what is the comparison and contrast of your life prior going down during your time and then versus you coming home and what you doing now? Like was it a different do you start looking at everything different? You start moving nah, a little bit different? Hell yeah, I started moving a lot of different, bro. Like, I, I, I did a 360, you know what I'm saying? Like, I came home, I stopped doing drugs because I used to be on pills. I used to me fuck up the Zans, the E's, whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I ain't going to lie, I smoke weed. I ain't going to lie, but that's all I do. I don't smoke wilds, you feel me? I drink, like, on occasion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I just be chilling. I work. I got a job now. This is the first job I ever had that I was at for over a year, bro. No bullshit. I've been at my job almost, like, October be two years, you feel me? Like... So I really just got my shit together, you feel me? Because I, I just was like, you feel me? Like, it's like now or never. I just felt like I was getting older, so I might do something different. And then I had, you know, people in my corner also pushing me to do something different, you know what I'm saying, as well. So I feel yeah. like that's important, too, having a solid, like, foundation, you know what I'm saying? Like, people that's going to help keep you on your pivot and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? When you feel like you're not in this life shit alone type shit. Yeah, no, I, I agree. So what is that like? Because, you know, like a lot of people that go through these systems don't actually have a support have system. Like they go home right? with That's nothing. So like, what is, oh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's sad. It's a sad thing. Like I, right. I see it all the time. So like, right. what is that like to actually have a support system? And it don't even necessarily got to be about like making sure that you're good financially, but just giving right. you positive mm -hmm. affirmation mm -hmm. and encouragement mm -hmm. on a daily basis trying to put you in the right position so like what is that like for you i feel like that's what actually changed my changed my life like uh i got my big brother his name me jay for me he a music producer like he he's the one that helped me with my music and stuff like that but aside from the music he personally helped me like he helped change my mindset you know what i'm saying he helped get me on the right path so i feel like having that is very important and then i feel like if more people in the system had that you know what I'm saying? A lot of them probably won't even be in there for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it's very, very important. But that's really the main factor that changed me when I came home. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, when he found out I was in prison and shit like that, he started picking me up more. Like, you feel me? Really just put me on the wing, just talking to me, talking to me, you feel me? Just really drilling it in my head to change how I was moving, what I was doing. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, because when I first came home, I was on parole. I still came back trapping, like. At first, you know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah. changed as soon as I came home. You know what I'm saying? It took like a year or two for me to really be like, all right, let me, you feel what I'm saying? But I feel like I should very yeah, no, I'll no, I definitely get you. I feel like if you have people that's in your corner that's going to support you and try to lead you in the right direction, it definitely right. could change your way of thinking and how you go about things and put you on the right path because you know what right. it's like being on this side. No, so you sure. said Even my that you brother. out there doing music. Go. Oh, my bad, bro. No, I was just going to say, even my little no, no, brother, right. even he be giving me positive affirmation, like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I'm staying focused on the mission, like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I'm not getting distracted and I ain't really out here doing, like, you feel me, in a way and doing the wrong thing. Like, he make sure to let me know, you know what I'm saying, to keep me uh on the right track, too, man. Yeah, no, it doesn't go. He, he definitely, even in here, like dudes that he's cool with, even like dudes that he don't associate with, he definitely try to always give all positive vibes, like being in here. Like I yeah. said, I've been around him a while. So he, yeah, he, he definitely sure. do that. Uh, so yeah. you, you, you talk about the music. So how yeah. long have you actually been doing music? Man, I've been probably uh, like on some, like real taking it serious. I dropped my first song, No Bullshit, bro, 11 years ago. Like, you feel my first video, like, okay. my first real video 11 years ago. But then I had only did, like, three songs, and then I stopped. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, so I just started back uh, doing music in, two, like, 2018. I'm going to say for real, for real. 2018 That's when I really started taking the series. You know what I'm saying? And then I dropped my first mixtape, I think, in 2021. Okay. So, so yeah, for so. a little minute, you lost your little passion, lost your focus on yeah, music. Yeah, so Yeah, because life is hard, man. A lot you of... Feel me? Like, yeah, no. Life is hard. Yeah. Life is hard. So I was just trying to get back, so, get, like, get life back. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's definitely good. Like, some people say, like, writing music... And and that's their passion to help them definitely get through some some tough times in life. So how yeah. has music played a part for you in your life of helping you get through trials and tribulations? Um, I'm saying it, it played a major part because you know it's just a way to express yourself. You know what I'm saying when you and your emotions and stuff like that. You feel me? Instead of acting on your emotions, if you just write it down, you know what I'm saying. You ain't got to worry about telling nobody and they running telling your business. You know what I'm saying you ain't got to worry about going out there doing nothing to nobody. Cause you, cause the shit on your mind, you feel me? Like writing, you releasing it. You talking about it, you releasing it. You feel what I'm saying? In a positive way, you don't gotta worry yeah. about it coming like backfiring. You don't gotta worry about it. You feel what I'm saying? Like none of the bullshit that come yeah, with nah. venting the people and shit. Yeah, I get you. So, do you only do rap or do you also sing? Uh, nah, you I write your own rap. music or like what do you do? Just rap? Yeah, yeah, I just okay. rap. I wish I knew I sing. <laughs> nah, I just be rapping. I be rapping. I got uh like three mixtapes out. So I'm saying I'm um currently about to get back in the studio. So I'm saying I got shit moving for me. I did I did a song with Gunplay. I had a Gunplay album out, but they took it down during COVID. But it's supposed to be coming back out, but I don't know when though. Yeah, no, that's definitely dope right there. Definitely grinding, putting it together. Now, I get what you're saying about singing, man. I, I, like, I, I listen to a lot of people that can sing. I'm like, damn, if I had that no, voice what? right there, I, I could sing. No, nah, I wish I could, yeah, bro. That, yeah, that, yeah, that no, shit that, just that, do something to people's no, shows. Yeah. Like, rapping, rapping cool, but singing, that shit just, that shit, like, make you feel the type of way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I definitely agree with that. So, you say you got a couple of mixtapes out. What's the name yes. of the mixtapes, and where can people find them at? Oh, you right. have 60 uh, seconds remaining. My, the first mixtape I got is called Product of My Decisions. That's on iTunes, Apple Music, everywhere. You can just search it up. You feel me? Spotify. Then I got a mixtape out called Looney Tunes and another mixtape out called Affiliated by Association. So them three, you can find them everywhere. Uh, YouTube, Apple Music, you feel me? Uh, Spotify, all mm-hmm. that. Uh, all right, so I, I told you and I told your bro, being that you rap, I'm putting you on the spot, so I need you right. here. Some lyrics. Whatever you decide to rap, go ahead. It's yours. All right, say no more. I said, all these meds in my body, I won't catch corona. I was standing 10 toes in the field, posted on that corner. Keep the pistol on my body, I can't be a goner. I'm just, I'm broken hearted from these streets, I guess that I should warn you. I'll be getting high to ease the pain. Turn me to a stoner, trying to find love, ain't got a heart, I'm looking for a loner. In and out of college, cause I was chasing a diploma. Only thing that keeps me calm is the smell a lot of aroma. We don't stop at red lights, all we know is keep going. Bank account portfolio on God, just gonna keep going. If I stop and part the sea, my wave just gonna keep flowing. Never trust the love of bitch, cause it just gonna keep on. I be talking real like Don, call me Don like I'm Teflon. When it come to game, anybody getting touched on. Pop first. Ask questions later. Sorry if I react wrong. Shout out Jersey Seven Games, Don DeMarco Desert Storm. They just fit a pigment in my skin. If I react off their reaction, then I might commit a sin. I gave years to them jails. Ain't trying to get them time again. My nigga Prob says stay solid. Never fold and never been. And you know my nigga beat. I can't wait to see again. And Big Bro D's, that's my fam. He was like my next of kin. They was there when I jumped off the porch when it all began. They told me it's the fam and gotta watch out for your friends. Watch who you call your homie and watch who you call your man. Long as feet be in a sticky mood, I know y'all still a man. And the chaser bag run up a sack is still the only plan. I'ma get us out the hood and all my word is where I stand. You feel me? I, I, that's what I got. That's what I got, man. Yeah, I, 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 I hear you. You, you, you definitely go hard. I hear you. <laughs> I, 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 definitely, I definitely hear you. I appreciate it. So no, I appreciate you, bro. We leave, sure, absolutely. So before we go, you know, I always got to leave with a, with, a, with a positive note. So, like, just going through your experience, your brother, he in a joint, like I said, he over the head with me. What positive advice that you can just give a spill about to anybody whether they know somebody in prison whether they're in the streets running and they might be headed to prison what positive 
advice can you give them to get their mind right and get on the straight and narrow path? No. All right. Well, first, I want to shout out my little brother, man, Anthony Ferris. You feel what I'm saying? You know, he put this together. So I, I, I want to shout him out, and I want to shout you out, Sean. I appreciate you and him. You feel me? And I just would like to say, man, just, just I feel like listen when you speak. You feel me? A lot of times, like growing up, like especially being young, we think we know everything, and it'd be hard for niggas to listen. Like you feel what I'm saying? So if you got somebody, like somebody, whether it's your family or you met somebody in the streets that's telling you, that's really looking out for you and telling you, like, nah, bro, don't do this and don't do that. You feel me? And learn to be a lead. We gotta lead more than we follow. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like a lot of us, we get around our friends and we want to do what they do. You feel me? But in deep down inside, we really don't want to do it, but we doing it because everybody else doing it. You feel me? I feel like we need more leaders, man. We gotta just learn how to lead more, and we gotta learn to stick together. It's hard. It's like it's hard for black people to stick together, bro. We'd rather see each other down than up, bro. We got to stop thinking that right. if they make it, we're not going to make it. But if our men make it, they're going to, we're going to pull each other up, bro. Like, we stronger together than divided, bro. And that's what we got to understand, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I definitely, definitely agree with you. Facts. I definitely agree with you. So give give your uh, social media links and all that so, so people can go where uh, and find Instagram, you at. My shit, The Real Taz Bricks, T-A-Z, B-R-I-C-K-Z. Uh, my Facebook, same thing, Taz Bricks. Um, what else I got? Uh, TikTok, the real Taz Bricks. All my shit is Taz Bricks. T A Z B R I C K Z. You feel me? Uh, definitely appreciate. You. Definitely appreciate you. So for anybody no, that got sure. any questions or comments for this episode, you already know. Call one eight hundred three six six zero nine one one. That's one eight hundred three six six zero nine one one. Or send an email to stories at prisonaudio dot com. That's S T O R I E S to add sign P R I S O N A U D I O dot com. Don't forget to become a subscriber for free on both of our YouTube channels at Prison Audio and also at Sean Robert Johnson, as well as follow us on Instagram at Prison Audio and at Shaw John twelve twenty two. Yeah. That's S H A W J O H N one two two two. And don't me. forget to visit the website prisonaudio dot com. So there was another episode of Prison Audio with Sean Robert Johnson. That's me, your host. Appreciate you for coming up there, Dad, spending this time with you. And definitely it was a dope interview. Salute to you. Uh, thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man.